Well, welcome back to HB Unfiltered Sports Talk. I'm joined by the Stiff Brownie. I'm the Dirtbag. And our last segment here is going to touch on the World Baseball Classic. Have you watched any of this? I've been watching all it of is, it. It's, it's the World Cup, but like not on steroids, but very close to it. It's been so exciting. Like yeah. last night's game. That was one of the best baseball games I've seen in a long time. Got it. You know, they, 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 so the World Baseball Classic takes place because they're trying to get more like uh, exposure of the different countries, much like the World Cup, but in baseball. And that's hard to do. I mean, you got the Dominican Republic, you got Puerto Rico, Cuba. I mean, there's even Australia. <laughs> I love the Netherlands. You know, a bunch, bunch of blue eye, uh, well, uh, blonde hair, but, but they're Curacao. What, what, They're all from the little, na the little uh, tiny island Curacao, which is uh, owned by Holland. Which, which uh, I was watching uh, one of the games, and the pitcher was throwing like I don't know, seventy miles an hour or seventy-five miles an hour, which is not fast yeah. compared to Major League Baseball standards. And uh, the, the dude's an engineer during the day and he just happens to be able to pitch so, and they're but like was, he's the hardest his, throwing pitcher we have that was israel right uh, yeah i don't I, and he either, struck out a time yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 that was great britain but i could be wrong oh yeah it could have been great britain but anyways i think it's awesome hey great britain won their first baseball game in the world baseball classic ever oh really yeah this is great uh so last night's game yeah japan mexico did you know that japan's household 93.7 percent of the households in japan were tuned into that game last night I'm sure and that's they why were. the world baseball classic is awesome yeah they love they love their baseball that's for sure yep that um that game though th three three run blast by urias to give mexico the lead and they were they were uh they were pitching well. Sandoval was uh, dealing. Yeah, he but I think good. they got these guys on a pitch count. So they do. Even though he's throwing a four hitter, they had to take him out because he got to the the sixty pitch mark or whatever. Correct. And I think I don't think that they're. I thought they were supposed to be able to go like ninety five pitches, but I don't think they're. No. I think it depends on how many starts the pitcher got. Like yeah. the first start, he's only allowed to get X, and then the second start, well, they're basically done. Right. So I don't. I I would assume tonight are they allowed to go ninety pitches? Probably not, right? Yeah, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. And and um, it looks like Otani's not starting. He's. They're going to bring him in as a closer. It's some guy named uh, Im Im Imanga. Is that how you say it? I am A N. Are, are you seriously -A -A. asking me this right now? <laughs> sure. Sure. We'll go with that. All right, we're throwing uh, we're throwing the kid out of Arizona, Mary Mariel Kelly. I don't yeah. know if he's any good. Yeah, he, I mean he he's okay. He's young. Um, let me give you a little backdrop why this team should be so ridiculous. The the hitting lineup for the U.S. is awesome. Correct. Our our reserves are are awesome. What is not awesome is our pitching staff. What happened with that? Because they're. There's no way Kelly should even be on this team. There, be we should you. have Degrom out there. We should have sure. we should have Verlander. We should have Kershaw. The reason is is because these guys are in their older years where they have huge contracts. They cannot get insured properly. Oh, okay. in case, in, like if they get hurt or whatever. That so, makes sense. So a lot of them had to bow out, and that's why we we're, we're given the middle of the road guys, the Kellys, the Lins. You know, Brady well, Singer. Well, and 40-year-old Wainwright is starting games for you, like pivotal games. I well, was like, what is going on 42 here? 42-year-old Wainwright's playing because this is his last rodeo. <laughs> He's not going to get another chance because isn't this once every four years? Correct. Yeah, so. It, it's, it offsets uh, the Olympics. And it should have been played two years ago, but because of COVID, they yeah. they didn't play it. So that's why, that's why we're getting it this year. Um, USA man, Trey Turner has been on fire. I wish he played defense like he plays offense. He he roped that four. He hit a grand slam yeah. in, in the quarterfinals against Venezuela to save their ass. Yeah. And then he comes back with two run homers in the next game. Have you seen that that video that's going around? You you've obviously seen Moneyball, right? Billy oh yeah, Mays. oh yeah. And and when they're making that run and they get to that pivotal game where they're going to get the record and they're down the whole time and then and then it like they have this whole thing that goes on and you hear this smack of the wood hitting the ball. They've been able to merge <laughs> Trey Turner's home run with the sound of Moneyball. Okay. 
It's insane. It's it gives me. I, I'm, I'm getting chills right now. Thinking man, about I gotta it. I gotta see this. Oh, it's awesome. That sounds, it's fantastic. Yeah, that sounds cool. But anyways, let's talk about tonight's game. Yeah. What do you like? What I, do you don't like? Yeah. I like I the mean, over. J- obviously, the Japanese team is very disciplined, uh, and our guys have uh, been finally the bats have come alive. I'm just worried about the pitching. That's why I kind of like the over. Yeah. What is it? Uh, I'm looking at it right now. Okay. Hold on one second. But go ahead. Yeah, I I would um I know that I know that I mean the US obviously I want the US I want the USA to win, but Japan is tough. US is well was favored the last time I, I checked. Here we go. All right, so it's actually slight favorite. And uh, Japan's plus one and a half at minus one thirty. And the money line is USA minus one fifty, which is a pick 'em. And the over under is at ten and a half. I didn't realize it was that high. Yeah, and um, you know I have to be. Otani ob- comes in after this guy, right? Obviously, I want the USA to win, but sure. if I'm if I'm a betting person and it's only minus one thirty, their team is solid pitching and hitting. I'm I'm going to take the plus one and a half, the minus one thirty. I agree with you. I'll, I'll put up I'll put up the one thirty that um, the US hopefully wins by one, and I win both bets. Yeah, that's going to be. Uh... It's gonna be a close game, but you you got you got whatever that dude's whatever that guy's name is coming in for Japan to start the game. He probably because he hasn't got any pitching statistics. I'm I'm not sure if he's able to even go sixty pitches. Yeah. And then they bring in Otani. Yeah. That's gonna uh, be a that's gonna be a rough rough night for yeah. Uh, don't don't center. let it get to Otani coming in. Uh, <laughs> he, can you imagine? Hey, that will be that would be interesting if it came to on the line. Trout versus Otani. That would be amazing. Can you imagine that? Did you see the kid from Japan last night? He's supposed to be better than Otani. I got a chance to watch him. It's pretty special. He's throwing 100, 100 miles an hour. Oh, Sasaki? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, 102. Yeah. And his ball moves. And then he's got a splitty that's at like 91, 92 miles 92. an hour. 92. Yeah. His curveball's at 88. Yeah. What is he? Dude, so what <laughs> He's is, still got jacked, though, by Urias. Well... But, that guy dropped. Yeah. That guy dropped a bomb on him. Yeah, but um, he just hung that pitch though too. Yeah. Uh, what's his ability to come to the United States? Because I know, like with Ichiro and even Otani, like they had to spend a, they had to spend a certain amount of time in the Japanese pro, pro league. Yeah. When is he going to be eligible for us to see him here in yeah, the United States? You, you know, I I don't know on on that one. I I'm, I'll have to uh, get my uh, fact checkers and uh, have them uh, research that because it is interesting. He's, he's twenty years old, right? Yeah, a lot of these guys don't even want to come to play MLB ball. I hear they're treated like gods in Japan. Oh, true story. This is total side. Uh, I have my family has been in professional baseball before, and uh, my brother got to play with Ichiro Suzuki at, at, with the Yankees when he was there. And they had Ichiro. It's not uncommon for for players to get up on the team bus as the rides going forward, and like they ask him a bunch of questions and whatever. And they asked Ichiro. If he was the most famous person in Japan, and he said no, and they asked him who's more famous, and he Godzilla. said, "He said <laughs> Michael Jackson." Oh, wow. Michael Jackson was the only person more wow. famous than Ichiro. I was going to say Godzilla. Yeah, but, well, wow, <laughs> interesting. It's a pretty good story. Yeah, no, that is. Oh, Michael Jackson's the most. My brother said he used to dress like uh, like uh, Elvis Presley, like he was all leathered out and <laughs> rhinestones, and you know. Ichiro, what a, what a great player. Yeah. Yeah. Do we got anything else now? No, I think this game's going to be great. It starts at 4 p.m., which is one hour from now for us. So yeah. we should probably call it a day. All right. Sounds good. Let's go get our drink on and uh, go USA. Yeah, love it. All right. Bye.